Hey guys, welcome back to part 2 of Rough Turning a Maple Bowl. Came to the shop this evening and it was quite rough on the outside from uh, sitting overnight. So I took a final pass with my bowl gouge on the outside of the bowl. Look at that new uh, chug. So I expanded my chug into the recess and it's just running true as ever. So excuse the audio there. I didn't have my mic with me in my uh, in my shop today, but uh, I'm just kind of running through, um, showing you a few short clips of the process of turning a bowl like this. Um, not the best angle, I know. I can't. I know you can't see what I'm doing exactly, but um, I'm just yeah, using using a variety of tools to uh, remove a bunch of material. So I like to mark my bowls on the outside with uh, the type of wood and the date of turning so that when it comes to finish turning as it dries out I know what I'm dealing with. And then I cover it all up in glue to slow the drying process so that I uh, lessen the likelihood of cracking. Thank you so much for watching guys, I really appreciate it. See you soon.